Hi everybody, it's Amy and today we are touring this gorgeous home behind me. This is truly beautiful. This is an inventory home here in the Avalon Reserve community here in Winter Garden, Florida. This is the last, that's right, it's the last home available in this 66 home community. This is really beautiful and we're getting a sneak peek. Now before we go in, I always like to make sure I mention um, when these homes are not 100% completed. You'll notice um, little bits of green and blue tape here and there throughout the home, which means that they're kind of at their punch list stage, which means that um, the home is done, but they've come back in and they're noting some little imperfections here and there. Maybe they have to touch up some paint. So that's what all those little pieces of tape are. Just wanted to make sure I let you know. But first of all, did you see the exterior elevation of this home? Do you see the stonework and the color and the arch and the palm trees and the breeze blowing. Do you want to move here? Yes, you do. And this is going to be your house. So this is really exciting. Now, this is their Parker floor plan. Their Parker floor plan is really one of my favorites. And what I want to mention with this particular one is that they have done... Um, well, you'll notice with, with different floor plans, you have options of what you can do. Maybe you can add a bedroom or you can make a den a bedroom and some different ways that you can structurally change the home to, to give it a different feel that might work better for you and your family. So I want you to go through, after you watch this video, go back through this YouTube channel and find the Parker Model Home Tour. That is the original five bedroom home. This is the seven bedroom home. So I want you to be able to see the differences in uh, the layout and the floor plan in general. Okay, that being said, let's start the tour. So we've come into this gorgeous entryway. The foyer right here goes all the way up to the second story. Take a look at the lighting fixtures because all of these things matter. This is an inventory home, so the home we're in could be your home. This is the, uh, immediately to the right, this is a very open like living room area. So the amount of space in here is great. One of the other things that I'd like to point out is that they've added four recessed lights up above. That's really important to note because that's a great thing to add into this room. Also note that there's tile extended throughout this first floor. Really beautiful, you have a very nice light open and airy feel of the floor plan and the design choices continue that open and big spacious clean feel. Right behind me is one of my favorite features of the home which is the double doors going into the office. Now one of the things I want to point out in here is take a look at the flooring that they've chosen in here. Really beautiful, absolutely a gorgeous flooring here. Perfect for your home office, which is located right here at the front of the home with a gorgeous view out those windows while you're, you know, slaving over all those numbers and figures and emails you have to return. Gorgeous, gorgeous view out your front window. All right, so over here, and first of all, this home has so many closets. One of my favorite things about this home, closets everywhere. So right here in this little, um, this little hallway, you have one like linen closet, storage closet, and then behind me you have your half bath. The half bath here in this room, obviously, is just your powder bath, your toilet, your sink, um, and that's pretty much it. But it's nice to have that here at the front of the home. So again, maybe you're using your office for clients, and then you have a restroom right there, and they don't have to really come in through the rest of the home. So here we are into the formal dining room. This is a very large dining room. So if you happen to have a large family, you have to take that table that typically seats six, and you have to put that little extension leaf in it and make it seat 10 or 12 you have plenty of room. Not only do you have plenty of room, but look at that lighting fixture, right? That's great, really nice. Now back behind me over here, again, we've just entered the door. We've already seen one closet. Here's closet number two. So here's your coat closet, but not, well, actually, yes, it's not even a coat closet, it's a nice storage closet. You have all of that room back in there. You have another closet over here to the side. So let's go over here, take a look at this one, and then we're gonna loop around because there's so much to see in this particular home. So now this home here is your coat closet. But look how much space you have here as well. Look at this, you have a nice amount of space. There's so much storage. So we've not even gotten to the hub of the home and you've had three closets, fantastic. Now this area is truly the biggest, best, most open family room, kitchen area of all the floor plans that I've seen. I love all the floor plans, but this one absolutely knocks it out of the park. 
There is so much space in here. So this is your family room area. You've got your sliding doors here that go out to your covered one eye. But look at the amount of space that you have. If you have a lot of friends and family, which by the way, with seven bedrooms in this home, you're probably gonna either have a lot of kids, a lot of guests, or you're gonna have a lot of people planning to visit. But look at the amount of space here. Over here to the side, you have a floor outlet, which is always nice to point out. So if you do have furniture, Depending on how you're going to situate them, you've got something with the end table, you've got an outlet there for a lamp or whatever electronic you need. Look at the amount of space in here. Okay, so look at this. You have your nice big um, kind of your pass through here into the kitchen. Again, continuing with the design options of having it nice and light and bright and white and open and clean white cabinets white cabinets with the white tile backsplash and then a really beautiful gray granite here on the counters really beautiful another thing i want to point out that in this community it is a gas community it's really funny how if you come from up north you kind of are amazed that every community is not a gas community but we're in florida so we don't need that gas to heat a lot of things so we don't have every community um, designated as a gas community this is one of them however so you have your sink here with your microwave up above you have all of this cabinet and counter space refrigerator would go here more counter and cabinet space more counter and cabinet space, and now you have your butler's pantry. The butler's pantry that has the access through to the dining room. Remember all those pieces of tape I was telling you? That's really important to point out. You know, wh when I see that, what I actually see is great attention to detail and making sure that this home is actually beautiful, picture perfect for you when you're ready to move in. I also wanna show you the pantry because I'm gonna be honest, pantries are important, right? You wanna make sure that those pantries can store all the food that it's gonna take to feed all the people filling up all of those bedrooms. Okay, so now in this home, which by the way is 4,731, it might be a little bit more than that because of the way that they've chosen the options in this particular home. Um, this area back over here is the only bedroom downstairs, but it's a bedroom with its own full bath. That's right, so think about you and your family. Do you wanna make this a guest room? Do you have an in-law that needs to live with you and can't manipulate stairs? Here you go, you have a bedroom downstairs on the first floor, you have a nice tan carpet and their own bathroom. So here we are, nice amount of space in this room. And this little niche that's cut out back behind is really great because it doesn't impede on the uh, actual living area so you have a great amount of closet space here so again great guest room great um, you know if you have again in-law that might have to live with you or maybe they come to visit you all the time it's a great option to have this bedroom downstairs so downstairs full bath for again for this bedroom linen closet back behind me toilet white counter you have a white quartz top beautiful mirror and again you have a nice um, shower there's no tub in here you have the big beautiful shower right back here let's take a look at the tile so you have a nice beautiful tile that extends up the wall and a really pretty gray slash blue-ish type of a um a feel on that listetto now one of the other things that I like about this Parker floor plan, by the way, the builder is Royal Oak Homes, great builder, really, really good builder, love their attention to detail, which is completely, um, you know, it's demonstrated by all the tape you kind of see here and there. So this area is what we call like a drop zone or a launch zone. Behind me is the garage. By the way, it's like a two and a half car garage, but look at this area. This this comes with the house this is so beautiful you have a long counter space you see that it's two desk areas you've got drawers here plenty of cabinet space you also have a home office up front you also have this closet back behind you because again you know they're going to utilize all the space you have another nice closet here so if you needed additional workspace if that office up front wasn't going to work for you you could always line that with a few more shelves and really create another office right here so we're gonna head upstairs. There's two staircases in this home and I wanted, I meant to mention that at the beginning of the video, but if you remember the beginning, you had this beautiful staircase that went upstairs and now we're at the back of the home and we have another staircase. So two staircases in this home and give me a couple seconds. I'm gonna maneuver the stairs and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so now we're upstairs of this Parker Inventory home here in Avalon Reserve in Winter Garden, Florida. Right here is where I want you to take note because after you finish watching this video, I want you to go back to the original Parker floor plan uh, model home tour so you can see where those differences are in this particular floor plan, which I think are great. All right, so we've come up this back staircase. This back staircase is where we just were. Over here, you're gonna have two bedrooms behind me with a full bath. Again, really nicely located. They're kind of tucked over here off to the side. So you come up that staircase and over here to the right, you have bedroom number one, 
Well, I guess it's in, in the whole whole concept, it's, it's bedroom number two because we had the one bedroom downstairs. But for upstairs, it'll be bedroom number one. Nice big bedroom, same big double closets right there. You have a full bath right over here to your left, to my right. And this has the tub as well as the shower. You also have your toilet back over here. Again, this is different in the way it's laid out from the original five bedroom Parker floor plan. Have to say, I like these changes. I think they're really smart. Here you are with bedroom number two upstairs. Again, nice size bedroom. This one is located at the rear of the home. Really nice, big size rooms. And this has a really big walk-in closet. So right over here is the closet for this bedroom. Nice closet, I really like this. Again, these changes are, um, they're really interesting to see how they have to manipulate the floor plan to accommodate that extra space. So smart. All right, so now we're gonna come over here. Here's that staircase we were just talking about. Over here to your left, to my right, is the laundry room. Laundry room is really big in this home. So think about this for just a minute. You've got your, um, your washer and your dryer right over here. And if you were to put some cabinets in the counter space right here, you'd have a great place to fold clothes and as well as store all of those um, all of the detergents that you need so they're not kind of out and outside and cluttersome. Okay, over here, another thing that I really like about this floor plan, and another thing I really like about this builder specifically, they just don't waste the space. If they see an, uh, an empty space somewhere in the floor plan, they make it function for the family, and this is great. This is a great homework zone, perhaps a crafting area, who knows what you could use this for, but the fact that they've gone ahead and um, put a little cab or a counter space right here, it's really smart. Over here you have the full bath because you have two bedrooms back over here. So over here is the be bathroom for those two bedrooms. You have a linen closet here in this bathroom. You have the two sinks, big mirror. Again, you have like this white, really beautiful white with gray and silver specks on um, quartz counter. And then you also have this privacy door here for the toilet with the tub and the shower back behind me. Same design as the bathroom downstairs with a tile that extends up and that accent tile, which is again, really pretty grays and blues hues in there. Bedroom number one, two, three bedroom upstairs, third bedroom upstairs, fourth overall in the house. Again, really big. Now this has, I like this one because it almost has it has own little entrance right here before you get to the main part of the bedroom. Another thing that I like about this bedroom is this exterior elevation allows for this little section right over here with the windows. And I don't know, I love little nooks. I love little architectural things that kind of make that room stand out. And for me, this little entry and that little exterior elevation allowing for those windows kind of makes that one a little extra special to me. So over here, we have the fourth bedroom upstairs, fifth overall. Again, another bedroom, really beautiful, big size, by the way. Uh, bedroom size is really important because you've probably got kids that are gonna have all their junk they're gonna need to put around, toys to play with, all those games. These rooms are gonna be able to hold it, but they're not necessarily gonna have to hold it because you have a great big loft area as well. That's right, so you have this big game room. So now again, look at that other Parker floor plan so you can see how they were really clever in um, changing that five bedroom to a seven bedroom. So again, you have a lot of space here for, um, for games, for um, who knows what you want, your gaming system, if you've just got board games, if you just not want another like an adult lounge area, you've got a ton of space upstairs. So this is located at the rear of the home, so this big double window is looking out back behind. Now this particular home um, is at the front of the actual community, so what's behind it is a brick wall that, um, that, that kind of partitions us off from, um, from the main road back behind. This gives you a good view of your backyard, which we'll be honest is not huge, but I can't tell you enough how many times I have buyers who are like, you know what, I don't want a lot of yard space. Not in Florida, I don't want it. I actually just want a little bit, I want my kids to be able to run around and play. And there you go, you've got it right here in this home. So here is bedroom number five upstairs, six overall. Because remember, one bedroom downstairs, this is the fifth one we've seen upstairs. Nice size bedroom, big walk-in closet, and this one is located at the rear of the home. Now you might be thinking, okay, I'm so lost. It's okay, I got you. We're gonna come over to this side of the house because this whole side of the house is the master. And the master deserves a nice, big, beautiful, fancy retreat. And this Parker floor plan does not disappoint. Before we go look at that room, I wanna show you right here at the end of the hallway, we are now, um, you can see the foyer from up above. Really like that. And you can also take a look at this staircase and you can see that they've done the dark stain with the, um, with the iron spindles. 
Again, really beautiful. You can also look across to you and see where we just were. That was that other um, bathroom with the other two bedrooms that were over there. All right, here we are in the master. This is it. This is what has sold you. I know you're like, I'm just going to call you now at 407-848-8042 and you're going to buy this home. I just feel it. So here we are, corner to corner of this master bedroom. Really big and beautiful. Now this area right here is like a nice sitting area. If you wanted to do something really clever and creative right here, you've got this extra space because it's, it's pushed back this way. All of this space right here is obviously going to be bed, um, dresser, chest of drawers, all of that kind of stuff. It's going to be right here, a ton of space. And then walking through this door, and again, you have a door here. You're going to have a his and her um, closets are over here to the side. You've got one here and one here, both about the same size. So no one is going to argue over who gets the bigger, but um, bigger, but uh, I'm going to turn this off. There we go. Um, no one's going to argue over who gets the bigger closet because they're the same size. And I know that because this is actually the floor plan that we built for me and my family. And my husband and I don't fight over closet space. Although I did take over some of his, he just doesn't know it. But anyway, um, maybe he knows now. Okay, so here we are in the master bathroom. Really beautiful, separate his and her vanities. He's over here on this side with a great amount of counter space. She's over here with a great amount of counter space and the little dip for the vanity in the makeup area. You also have your garden tub over here, same tile and accent tile that we've seen in the other bathrooms. Really beautiful with the big window back behind it. And then you also have this big, gorgeous glass door shower over here to the side. Behind me over here is the privacy door for the toilet. So this is a big home, over 4,700 square feet. That's right, 4,731 in their typical five bedroom floor plan, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit more once you add that seventh bedroom because what you've done is you, um, they take a little bit of that, that garage space and they create that downstairs bathroom for that downstairs bedroom. Great, great floor plan. Again, seven bedrooms, over 4,700 square feet. We are here in Winter Garden, Florida. This is a community that is 66 homes. So if you are looking for a community where the neighbors know each other, you're looking out for one another, you um, this is a great option for you. 66 homes in this community. There is a nice big playground and there's a big um, pond in the middle with a beautiful fountain. No amenity center here, which means there's no pool, which also means there's no exorbitant HOA fees. So if you are interested in this home, give me a call at 407-848-8080. It's really important to call me fast because as you can see, these little bits of tape mean that it is ready to go on the market. And as soon as it does, someone is going to snatch it up because it is quite the find. Give me a call again, 407-848-8042. Make sure you um, look at the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be updated with all the latest and greatest video tours of not just model homes, but of homes like this, these inventory homes that are here and ready and waiting for you. Not everybody has the time it takes to build. Some people are ready to move here right now and I hope this is your new home. Give me a call and I hope to help you very soon. Happy house hunting everybody.